So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is create a Cosmetic Anomaly Detection Model using Visual Inspection AI. So first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel. Now let's get started. The first thing is that you have to just open the cloud console incognito window. Let me show you how you have to open and for other remaining skill badges and lab free courses and arcade games you can check the description box for the master sheet. Now just open the cloud console in cognito window. Now here sometimes it may ask for the user details so you can check the lab instructions. Now wait for this to complete and here basically you have to just click on I agree and then click on I understand and then agree and continue. And if you are not getting any kind of pop up then no need to worry just activate the cloud shell and just follow along with me. You will be able to complete the lab without any okay. issues. Click on it. Let me show you how you have to activate the cloud shell. Click on here. And here another pop up will come like you have to click on continue and authorize yourself. So just do it as I am doing. Right. You have to just do it as I am doing. Now here. You have to just click on the authorize button. Now come to the lab instructions, wait for a few seconds. Now here, if you want to increase the font size, you can increase it. Now here basically come to the task number one. Here you can see we have to enable the visual inspection AI API and we have to create a data set. So you can see here. So this task will be done in the console itself. Okay. So just copy the AI API. Here are two methods on how you can enable the API. I will show you one method over here and if so just come over the navigation menu and here you can just use it like this or you can just type on the search box virtual inspection. I will show you both methods one in this video and another in next video. So just come over here you can see here we have to just use the cloud shell also so you should avoid closing the cloud shell. Now just type on the search box and just open it like this. Now here first thing is that. Now first thing is that you have to just click on enable visual inspection AI API. Just click on this button. Okay. Then after that we'll create the dashboard and prepare our data. So just do it like this. It will take some time so wait for it. So finally here you can see the API has been successfully enabled. Now our time is for create a data set. So for the data set name and objective type you can come back to the lab instruction and check it carefully. And one more important thing is that first of all check the score for task number one. And one more what important thing you need to make sure that there is no extra space or dot. So just copy it carefully here you can see the objective type is cosmetic inspection. See here now select it. Now just select the annotation type and then click on create. If it asks for region, you have to enter the region which is mentioned on the lab instruction. Now this task will take some time so wait for it. Basically it will take 5 to 10 minutes sometimes even more so you need to wait for the data set to get created. After that we will move forward to the next step of this lab.
So here you can see the data set has been created and it will be created within more few times. So finally the data set has been created. Now you have to export the result. But before exporting the CSV file, we need to just download it to our cloud storage. So for that we will be needing the cloud shell. So it's time to reactivate the cloud shell. You have to just use this button. If you haven't activated it, you have to just activate it like I have done previously. Now just come over here and just copy this command and run on your cloud shell. So just paste over it like this. And it's done. If you get any kind of error, you can just come to the above also and just run the commands from task number two one by one. Okay. Now once all these things are done, you have to just come over here and just export basically import the file like this. So just select it and just click on continue. Now it will take some time again and after that what we have to do we have to just create a defect type also so even if you don't create a defect type and if you get 100 out of 100 you can end the lab without any issue you can just check the score after importing the lab So finally here you can see all the images have been successfully imported. Now what you can do, you can come back to the lab instruction and check the score. Now here, if you check the score, you'll get the score without any issue. Look, here you can see we have got 100 out of 100. Now if you want to continue more in the lab, so let's continue it. From here, you have to just click on the create. You can see in the defect section, you have to just come down over here and here you can see filter click on find defects and just create a new defect like this i repeat if you have got 100 out of 100 you can see we have got it so you can end the lab if you want but i am continuing the video for this part also if they are the need task on this particular task also now we have to create another defect okay so how you create the another defect first of all close the cloud shell and if you are unable to just click on new you need to just refresh the browser window okay so let me refresh the browser window to the lab instruction copy the defect type and just come over here to the lab instructions again and from here just click on this plus add it and just create it so finally we have created the defect types also now here you can see there is no check my progress in the particular task and we have already got the score on the previous task also and we have got 100 out of 100 so now we can end the lab if you face any issue you can check me sorry connect with me in the comment section that's all about this video.